so i got tagged in this video on tiktok it's a scene from a 1972 film and it's something that's how i can describe it i have seen this video or this scene um since i got tagged this morning like 12 15 times maybe even more watching it over and over and over and my feelings and thoughts are just all over the place i don't even i'm going to stop yapping now and just let the clip roll i was today years old when i found out you liberals who have lifted them up howard paul you conservatives make a mistake you can't afford to strangle hope in people without hope people become dangerous no howard you liberals have let them invade our society you give them jobs political jobs oh you missed the point it's only the smart ones we move up <laughs> that makes it even worse oh you know we have to move them up if we leave a smart one in the ghetto he might develop into a leader against us but if we raise him up into white society we neutralize him he feels compelled to try to act like us he loses his identity and uh, his racial anger, if he has any. These are the same people that in real life say things like, why are black people so angry? Pretending like they don't know why black people are angry. They know that black people are angry because of how they are being treated because of their race. Hence why in this movie they called it racial anger because they know exactly what's going on. But they feign ignorance in real life and say the truth in movie. He becomes alien to his brothers. They realize he sold them out and they grow to hate him. He becomes worthless to them and safe for us. Uh, no, thank you. In fact, in his love for the creature comforts, except for his color, he's become one of us. That last line. That's how they get us all the time. Selfishness, self-hate, and lack of love for our people in general all have to be present at the same time for them to be able to use us. It's the fact that, first of all, there is no difference between conservative and liberals. This is a tactic they use in real life being displayed in a film like this the divide and conquer it's it's an old tactic but but the fact that they, they put it in movies that was the that's why they say not all skin folks are kin folks right jack says and literally these are their practices as we breathe today it's the accuracy for me those are the most dangerous to us emerald says they are truly talking about obama Watson 88 says, never trust the elite or anything they give you. They are not us. They are themselves. It's not only people that have been picked and placed in higher places like that that are the only sellouts we have. Everyday black people to do the exact same thing when they are not 100% down with the black agenda When they pick themselves over like the group it's, it's the little things you do like making decisions that would benefit only you. I would give an example I've had a friend um, Tell me that I should not make the kind of videos that I make because it could affect my progress in life when maybe certain things want to come up for me or certain things that could come up for me my videos could hinder me enjoying those benefits she cited examples of maybe if i want to travel to like a particular country for example in the west and they look me up and they find that oh i make this kind of videos they might say oh i'm not going to grant her visa it's up to me to decide if I want to pick myself over like my people in general and I get that you you know you want to do stuff for yourself but there are like little decisions you make or we make and little things we do that may not be as grand as those ones that have been picked and taken to the top um, would make that affects like greatly more greatly but there are little, little decisions that we make on a daily basis that 
play into the play into the game i would say it's, it's the little droplets of water that eventually fills the bucket or fills the drum so when we individually are dropping out little little drops of you know selfishness for our own benefit the bucket or the drums fills up and then it affects like more people <sighs> I don't know if I just made any sense. I read somewhere or heard someone say this. So if they were never for black people before they attain all they presently have, they are not going to automatically now be for black people now that they've attained it. I feel like the only way for us to get there, the place where we are not going to be having sellouts or having people that are going to be fished out from the community and used as tools, against the rest of the communities for us to have power. I feel in my little brain right now that that's the only way. Um, and until we get there, it's inevitable. It's going to continue to happen. It's just the sad truth. They're going to continue using the same tactics because there are always going to be people in the community that are going to take the conditions that comes with the support that they are going to be offered and it's just going to continue in this crazy circle because if you look at things other people do not have to worry about sellouts because they don't have any reason to want to sell themselves out they have everything that they need and it's crazy how they look people these things in films they tell you things in films you're like oh it's just a movie i remember growing up my mom used to be like it's not just a movie, they, they they show you things in film. Although my mom wasn't saying this then, like in a more grand scale of conspiracy. Like, you know, the whole thing with Avatar. Over time, I have seen like people put like, you know, snippets of films on TikTok like this. And you just watch them and you go, wow. I am going to be watching movies more deeply now to see like... For the things that they are hiding in plain sight because they truly are hiding things in plain sight just right under our noses and in front of our eyes just keeping it there you can see but you can't see kind of situation like it's 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 crazy so guys that's it um i just wanted to bring this to the channel saw it this morning it really made me think made me feel certain kind of way that i cannot put to words you guys saw how like all over the place i was yeah what do you think about them hiding like clues and facts and all that in movies this is something they've been doing for years now i mean this movie is from the 70s 72 to be specific um but yeah you know i'm just going to leave it here not to make this video too long thank you very much for watching tell me what you think down below in the comment section i want to hear you guys' thoughts i think i want to make something fun for monday at this point i must confess i'm doing those fun videos for me because my mental health is really i need a balance okay <laughs> and i'm sure you guys need it too i'll see you guys in the comment section and in my next video bye Bye.